Hey everybody, this is CP Roll 43 with a new update for you guys. So I guess this update is kind of like uh, a final for the uh, last update because I forgot a whole bunch of stuff um, in that last update. I guess I was kind of rushing. So I'm going to try and get that stuff that I forgot into this update and just wrap the whole thing up. As is, I guess it's pretty important that you guys know what's happening around the layout and uh, yeah, that's why I do these updates. So anyways, uh, I forgot to mention uh, some of the things like with the AC44 here. Um, I got some uh, new horns in, the, the uh, model Baron, and uh, that picked out some of those up when I uh, got the containers. And um, one of the horns was the K3LR2, the CP uh, horn with the uh, reverse left bell, as you can see that bright one right there. I ordered that one way back in November. And it's now just getting to around the end of September, so it's been a pretty long time, but uh, wait patiently and good things happen. So uh, that horn came in and I put on the AC44. The Atherin horn that was on the AC44 I put on the GP38 because uh, that horn that's on the AC44, it came out of the package with its reverse bell um, kind of facing upwards and so it was a little bit distorted and stuff like that. So that horn, it's a bit fragile and uh, since I rarely touch uh, this area on the unit, the, the thought might as well put the, that horn up there because it's safer and uh, it's also a bit smaller than the Atherin horns. So this horn is a pretty good size for the uh, GP38. It sticks out a bit and uh, makes it a little bit more close to prototype. And uh, this horn, although not close to prototype, it's safe up there and uh, it works anyways. So that's the important thing. Uh, I should mention, uh, while I'm on the Model Baron topic, I guess, um, I should say, I should put a huge thanks in to the uh, owner of Model Baron Hobbies uh, for the awesome service. I know I think I did a thanks before, but I have to emphasize this because the service that I get there is just incredible. Uh, the guy helps out as much as possible, answers my questions and everything, and uh, I just that's why I go back because well, not one thing is that it's the like the only hobby shop in Lethbridge, but I take that hobby shop over most because the owner uh, he's just been fantastic uh, to me and uh, doing giving me awesome service and yeah so I really appreciate that and uh, for him holding the uh, GMD1 for me uh, when I did mention that it might be a few months but that is actually pretty true uh, because I don't have a whole lot of money I gotta save up I want to save up to at least five hundred dollars before I think about getting the uh, GMD1 and I'm still looking for a part time so but yeah huge thanks to him awesome guy and uh, I just love the service and I go back for more every time so uh, yeah um, still working on the uh, GP38 here kinda still working on the stripe and uh, still gotta do the other side as well but uh, the reason why is because my the paint is a bit wet and not really adhering well to the uh, surface so, got to take my time. Uh, what else is I going to talk to you guys about? I think that's about it uh, with the layout. Um, had a great time in Lundbrook Falls. And, uh, yeah, it was lots of fun. We went to BC for a little bit. And then we chased that train that I caught from BC all the way back to Lundbrook Falls where I filmed it. And that was certainly a lot of fun. I'm not sure if you read the little story that I put in in the description of that video, which is just before this one. Um, that I had, we had uh, stayed at our, the campsite uh, near the falls uh, for, I don't know, maybe two, two and a half hours after uh, filming the train and watching it go by. Then we left for home, Lethbridge, and when we were coming in, just coming in towards the uh, yard, the same train, a bit different, had some, uh, had an extra set of cars on the front, but uh, like the exact same train just entering the yard. So I had seen the train a total of four times, which is pretty incredible. I didn't take any photos of it at the yard, but I got a whole bunch of photos of it at the three other locations, the third being Lundbrook Falls, 
The first one was uh, at just near Crow's Nest, uh, Alberta, and that was at the uh, Island Lake Campground, Island Lake, Alberta Campground, not Island Lake, British Columbia, that's in Fernie. But um, yeah, I went there and then we caught it again in uh, near Frankslide. So yeah, and I got a whole bunch of photos for the year end slideshow. It's ama actually, the fa uh, good fact here I'm at the same number of photos right now, 76. Well, yeah, 76 photos I took last year were in the uh, slideshow, and right now I have 76. I'm right at 76, so I'm going to have a longer slideshow for you guys, and uh, that means more music. I have a rock song planned in the mix of my hardcore music and stuff like that, because that's what it is, hardcore trains. Um, can't go wrong with it. So, rock and roll, and... Uh, Kind of had to do lots of head banging and whatever, thumping to the drums and stuff. So, there you go, guys. Uh, that is for you. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty much it, I guess. I don't have very much else to say. Uh, I finished this update pretty much, and I hope you enjoyed it. So, as always, uh, thanks for watching, and until next time, this is CP Roll 43, and good luck.